Hello and welcome back to POSIX Labs. My name is Shane and today we'll be going over the process for installing a thermal printer to a POS terminal using the serial port. What you'll need for this is a thermal printer. We're going to use an ion thermal printer this time and a POS terminal obviously. You'll need your power supply for your printer. You'll need an internet connection for your terminal. You'll need the serial plug that comes with your printer and you'll need also the adapter that will plug into the COM ports. Alright, the first thing we're going to do is go ahead and plug our printer in. We're going to take our power cable. We'll take this end and we'll plug it into this part here. We'll go ahead and plug our printer power in and then we'll take this part of the plug and we want the flat side facing up and you can see here so the flat side faces up towards the top of the printer and you plug it in right there in the back then this is going to be our serial port and we'll plug in right there so that's our next step we take our serial port cable It's got two ends. You've got one where the plug, the female end, and then one, the male end. The male end goes into the printer. It's a shape plug. The wide part goes towards the top. Plug it in, and then you can screw it down with the thumb screws. We'll then take this end, we'll run it through the base, up underneath, you can tuck your extra cable in to the base, then we'll take our adapter that will plug into the front here. It's also a shaped plug. We'll tighten down our thumb screws. And then you can see we have the COM ports here. Whatever you do, do not plug it into here. This is a powered port. It will fry your printer, right? So either one of COM 1, 2, or 3. They're labeled underneath here. Okay, we're going to plug into COM 1. It's pretty easy. It's just like a standard phone cable. We'll tuck away the rest of our... And then we'll go ahead and power up our terminal. And we'll go ahead and power up our printer. You want to launch your internet browser down in the bottom left hand corner of the screen. It should default to posx.com, but if it doesn't, you'll want to go to www.pos-x.com. You'll go to the support tab and a drop down menu will appear and you'll click on downloads. At this point, you'll select the product category, which will be receipt printers. And then you want to select your product. Here we're going to select the ION printer. You could also select the EVO green or the EVO high speed. And then we'll go and we'll select our Windows driver. You'll download that. You'll want to save it and not run it if you're prompted to do so. Go to your downloads folder and double click on the thermal icon. It will begin Extracting the files. You'll then click the box by the POSIX thermal printer. Click install. Make sure your default operating system is set correctly. For us, it's Windows 7. We won't change our code settings. 
we'll change our port settings to COM1. We'll click OK. Install. Installation will continue. You can set that to your default printer and click OK. You don't have to do that. You do not need to reboot, so unclick that box and click OK. We'll then go to our devices and printers in our start menu. We'll click on the POSX thermal printer. It'll open up a page. We'll want to select printer and then properties. And then here we can print a test page. So we'll go ahead and click print test page. Serial's a little slower than either USB or parallel ports. go prints out a test page and that test page says congratulations job well done we can go ahead and close out and there we go mission accomplished if you have any other questions or concerns feel free to contact us my name is Shane from POSX Labs POSX Point of sale simplified.